What is up, Emery and Henry? Uh, we're here live with uh, Wasp Esports on Twitch. Uh, and also YouTube, if you're there watching, I am Normal Thumbs. I'm going to be casting this for you guys. Uh, looks like today's lineup, we've got All Schmitty, Hispanic, Tropics, Katakuna, and Ashik. And we're up against Abstract Fox, Lander, Cynical, Crow, and Call Ricky. So they're just finalizing a few things, and then we're going to get this match going. Um, the first map is Busan, so as long as they keep that. Sometimes they have a little bit of uh, a little practice go to see if everything's good, but other than that, we might be hopping right in here in just a second. Uh, we've got Coach Too Easy, Coach Mag. Um, he's actually over all of the esports here, and he's going to be spectating and watching as well. Um, so we're almost ready. It is Emory and Henry versus Ball State and Overwatch 2, so... Let's see how this goes. See when we get started. Why stop at making it here? I'm thinking more global. Can I please fly Toki? I'll be super careful. Uh, didn't you lose an entire jet once? <laughs> Not on purpose. All right, so we're loading in now. So we're going to see who the picks are compared to last week. Um, we tried a few things. We had a kind of a tough week for the guys at Emory. So hopefully they're looking to bounce back. It is, um, you do play against a team with the same record as you with the ECAC. So hopefully we get a really good competition today. Uh, we did win our first week and lost our second. So hopefully we can turn this around for week three and get a win again for the guys and get that win streak going. So we have Torbjorn, we have Hispanard locked in as, I can't see who Hispanard is at the moment. We've got everybody, we've got the full squad in here. It looks like we've got Tropics at tank. Katakuna is playing uh, healer, and we got Ashik as healer as well. So everybody's still picking. Alshmitty switched to Widow. I'm trying to just figure out who we're going to play as. And here we go. So this is a King of the Hill style point where you just try to get the objective point in the middle. Both teams are going to be at the same point. So if you're on it long enough, you do start capturing it and trying to get it to 100% there at the top. So you can see Katakuna healing. Got Tropics in at D.Va. He played D.Va last week a lot. He felt good at the D.Va, so we're going to do that again. And we'll see what the guys do here. We do have Tropics on the point, but as long as the other team is on the point as well, it does not start filling up progress. And the objective is active, so it's contested up the top. We've got a quarter of it. No one's down, but Ashmedi and Tropics both at half health here. They get healed back up. Katakuna gets killed, which is our healer, so that's not good. It's going to be tough. The guy's got to really hang in here. Ashmedi is now very low. Tropics at half health. We do get a revive, though, so we do have a healer on the point, but his Spaniard is down, and Ashik died after that res. Watching the Alshmitty, just trying to hang in here. Trying to not die while his teammate gets back. Tropics does get knocked out of the mech, so he is Baby Diva at the moment. And it looks like they're going to just try and wait back and regroup. See, the enemy team is making progress on the point. They're at 20%. Again, if you get to 100, you win the round. Alright, so it looks like they're ready to do their push here. Tropics just trying to get back into his mech. Spanner trying to get a pick here on the Genji, but the Genji is so hard to hit. 
especially when you're playing as Hanzo. All right, so the guys have decided it's time to move in. Tropics has the mech, and they're pushing in. This Genji's giving them a lot of trouble, though. They do finally get the Genji pick. And they get their uh, the opponent, Hanzo. So they're making a really good push here. And we're on the point. Uh, getting, you know, no nobody's dead, so that's great, but not getting a, uh, there we go. Team finally gets it, gets the point, gets the other team wiped out, and now they're going to actually fly around here and harass in their spawn. They kind of get to do that where both of these guys are flyers. So this is a pretty common tactic you'll see. Alright, there almost dies there. Ashik just barely hanging in there, but does make it out and everything's fine. And they're just trying to slow down the other team from even getting back to the point. We do have 20%. The enemy team has 63%. So they can't really afford another big wipeout. Alright. Alshmini gets a kill with the ult there, but this does get taken out. Trade for a trade there. Spanner trying to get the angle on him. Does get the ult as well. We might see him pop that out here soon. The enemy team has a Lucio ult out though, so it's kind of a tough push to fight against. The Hanzo ult from the enemy team comes out. They're doing a good job just hanging in there, though. We do lose Katakuna and Ashik. And Tropics finally goes down as well as his Spanner. So Ashik may be very likely to die here. So they're going to wait for one final push. Hopefully they can uh, get this back. Call Ricky just getting a bunch of kills there. The enemy team just ulted super well together. But we do now have uh, the Hispanic ult. And we have Ashik getting hers. At, she's at 72% right now. So we'll probably see some ults fly here in a moment. Alright, so Hispanic just trying to get some early picks. That'd be super helpful. He's, his job is to try to go for those healers and the guys in the back line, but they are very well protected by the opponent's damage and tank players. Alright, Tropics is pushing in there. You see the Hanzo ult come out. Katakuna does get a pick on Lander. Tropics get cynical here. Looks like he might get another. Can't get it. They do have the point though, it's in overtime, it's at 99%, so it's going to give them a chance as long as they're touching the point here, they will contest this and not let, allow the win, but they are going to actually capture the point, a good push by the guys at Emory. So they've got everybody here, the other team's waiting on um, a couple of their guys to get back from spawn. So this is for all the beans here, they cannot afford to lose the point again. We do have... A res from Ashik, and we do have the Alshmidi ult as well. Last time he got a kill with that, so hopefully we see something good from it. So Ashik decides to ult here, just to get a lot of healing out there. Tropics really nailing this Lucia. They're trying to go after these healers. And Alshmidi gets a kill, but also gets killed by Lander. And the Lander is ulting, so hopefully... Yeah, he doesn't get anybody. Lander does get Katakuna now. So we're down Katakuna, his Spaniard gets wiped out. Ashik goes down, this is not looking good. Tropic's trying to hold on. Alshmidi has to hang. So hopefully we can get a guy back. I don't think so. Alshmidi trying to get to the point, can't do it. So round one goes to uh, the other team, which I believe is ball point tonight, so. They did play well. Uh, the uh, this, this map type, it does go to best of three. So hopefully they can pull this one around. And it is another King of the Hill style point. So the same style, first to three. Your heart is pounding, traitor. So we've made some changes. We got uh, Tracer, Reaper. Uh, Tropic switches to Torbjorn. Or not Torbjorn, I'm sorry. Um, Reinhardt. And we have a Lucio, so... Actually, everyone has changed on the Emery squad, so they think that they have either either a good matchup against these guys or characters for this map. And you're going to see this Tracer get around behind the enemy lines and just harass like crazy. Just bother the team. That's the main goal here. Trying to stop this uh, Lander from getting so many kills with McCree here. All right, and Alshman, you're doing a good job just bothering them. Tracer is... So good at staying alive. Almost flies off the map, but keeps on it. The other team's healing is just keeping up with this Tracer, though. 
our guys do have the point. We are at 2% and growing. Um, it is now contested, and we do have Hispanic gets picked off. And Katakuna as well, so Lander is just really putting on the works for him. All Schmitty just still just causing problems for the team. They just trying to bother them, distract them, pick off low health characters. Tropic's trying to just brute force them with Reinhardt here. Doing a good job just staying alive. He's such a tank. They finally do get Crow, which is their healer, which is great for the Emery guys. So it looks like they're gonna be able to hold this point for a little longer. We are at 33%. Tropic's really going after Sigma here and gets him. So they're deciding just to return back to the point, heal up, wait for the other guys. Katakuna is going to have his ult, Tropic has his ult, and Ashik has the ult as well. So we do have three ults in this next fight. The other team has two and is about to have three as well. So it looks like right at the moment this uh, change up of characters is really helping. Uh, we do pop out the Lucio ult, which gives our team a huge buff in health. We get an early pick on Abstract Fox, but Lander knocks out Katakuna and his Spaniard. Ashit goes down. Looks like Tropic's just trying to hang on. Isn't able to. All Schmitty just causing problems on the point, but doesn't make it out alive. So our guys are going to have to regroup here. We did get 76% before the uh, other guys did get any, so that's a really good start. Hi. All right, and we still do have one ult here. His Spaniard getting close as well as All Schmitty. But the other guys do have two ults, so it's going to be a tough entry here unless they can get some early picks. Katakuna does get knocked really low. They try to get him back, but they do. As a healer, you cannot afford to die, so that's good they got him back. Alshmitty taking it, taking a lot of damage. Alshmitty down, wasn't able to get out of there as Tracer, but does have the ult now when they come back. Katakuna gets wiped out. Our guy's just really struggling to take this point. But the other team did pop two ults there. Even though they still have one, they had to use two ults for that fight. And now we have two ults, which is really good. This game has a lot of weight on the ults. They can really sway a fight. So it could be looking good for our guys here. Alshmitty, almost, they're pushed back into spawn here. Almost dies right at spawn. The other guys do not want them to even get out here. So they're going to just try and go a different route. Tropics just hanging with the healer. His job is to protect them. All right, so they pop out the Sigma ult. Everybody, a few are caught in that here, but he doesn't get any kills off of it. Doesn't capitalize. The other team is not there with them, so. Banner taking damage. We got a lot of good healing, though. Katakuna very low. Katakuna goes down. We do. We did get a pick on Lander. Cynical and Abstract Fox go down as well. And we're able to push them off the point. So we do have it now 80% to their 82. It looks like we're going to take the lead here. And if they can hold on for 20 more percent, we get this round. It'll be one to one. Good. And looking at ults here, we've got a ult from Tropics. And that is the only person with one at the moment. Abstract Fox about to get theirs. Spanner getting up behind the team. Has a great angle here. It's a pick. And chasing this Lucio here. Runs over the health orb. Really good spot from his spanner there. Two kills. Ashtick gets another pick on Call Ricky. So that was a great defense. And now they just have to hold off the point until the overtime bar goes away. And it looks like Tracer makes it on last second. So they really got to get that Tracer. They're going to be able to get on this point and then just return over and over again until they can get the kill. And they do. Ashtick picks up the kit Tracer kill. And they're going to take the round. So good job by our guys here. It looks like the changes they made worked really, really well. They fought really well as a team and use their ults well too. Let's see if they stay the same characters. They, It looks like they're trying to figure out who to play. I know a lot of it has to do with the map we're on. They also had so much success with those guys, so we'll see what happens here. And it looks like they have picked their characters. We have a Widowmaker now. His standard saying is Reaper. He had a, a lot of luck with getting around the uh, behind the enemy lines that time. Tropics changes, Katakuna changes, as well as Ashik. So Reaper is the only character that stayed. 
it looks like the opponent team also selected a few different characters and you know a lot of that has to do with the map and we do have our final king of the hill map here this is the one that will decide match one for our guys here Got kind of doing a great job keeping tropics alive here it's so hard to heal as on if you miss the shot it does not heal at all mercy comes in and helps out his spaniard gets cynical and abstract false fox also goes down so our guy's getting the initial push here. Katakuna gets asleep. It looks like they're just waiting for him to come back. Having a little bit of fun there. And we get the point. So we, we got the point first last time and we won. So hopefully that is a good sign for us. So the other team, they don't want to just trickle in. You don't want to go one at a time. So when these, these long pauses like this, they're just waiting for their team to be able to group up, come in as a squad. His Spaniard up front, just trying to cause problems like he did last time. Got a great double kill in that last round. Katakuna gets picked off and has Oshmidi as well. Cynical gets two kills as Widowmaker there. And Tropic's taking a ton of damage as well. So a really good push by their Cynical. Tropic does get healed back up though and is just holding on to this point. Can't quite get the Genji. He's able to reflect his attack there. Does have the ult. We'll see if he uses it. And he does. Gets the Ana and the ult and a kill. That's great. That's their healer. He's just holding this point really, really well until his team comes back. That's really hard to do with less people. Does eventually get killed, but was able to hold the point for a long time until some of his team could get back. And it looks like now they're going to have no choice but to team up. They got to 59%, and it's 1-1, one, one, so this is the one for the first round. The deciding round for the first match, rather. So nobody's changing, they're happy with their characters. We've got Ashik almost with the ult and Alshmidi as well. Katakuna not far behind though at 89%. And we are up against one ult. The Sigma ult has been really, really strong for both teams. So that is tough to get around. Death Spaniard has eyes on their Widow. He, he knows that Widow was really, really tough on them just a moment ago. So he's really going after him. Really just hunting down this Widow. Will he be able to get it? Looks like he will. Runs out of ammo. <laughs> Only two shots away though. Got him. So that will help the team out a lot. Doesn't make it out though, unfortunately. And Alshmidi also gets knocked out by Carl Ricky. The so Tropics has no choice but to just hang back. Wait for his guys. Protecting the healers. That was almost a great push by the guys though. Knocking out that Widow. But Carl Ricky getting the double kill. Turned it back around. So Ashman, he switches to Soldier here. Feels like that might make the difference. We'll see if that helps a lot. So Lander does pick off Katakuna. And Lander then picks off Ashik while rezzing. So a big wipeout by the guys there. Hey, Spander, the only one making out alive. So they're having to just hang out again and wait and see if they can get a re-entry. So... The other team is at 86%, almost to 90. So they're gonna have to rush back in and this might be the final attempt at getting the point. The Spaniard really trying to get back behind enemy lines just like that last game. Isn't able to, gets caught up by the tank. At this point, it's all about just staying on the objective point, contesting it so that overtime stays. Tropics picks up a kill there though. Oshmidi gets Crow. Call Ricky gets two kills on our guys, and that is a team wipe, unfortunately. That was a very back and forth uh, at the very end there. It was hard to tell who was going to take that. So Ball State does get this first round. So we'll take a small break until they're ready for the next one. Sure. 
Inevitable, as all things are. Steady. Barrier initialized. Ten seconds. I'm the dragon consumed. I will not leave a broken world behind. the support. All right, guys, we are back at Eichenwald, and it does look like we've made a sub. Skeechers comes in, so we've got Tropic, Skeecher, All Schmitty, Katakuna, and Aishik. And uh, Ball State doesn't make any changes here with their lineup, so as we get loaded in here, um, it looks like this is going to be a best of five. So first team to win three matches will take it home. And Ball State did get the first, but Emery was right there with them until the end. So they definitely have a good shot here. They're playing well. So we've got Tropics as Genji here. So that's super different. Uh, we have a full different lineup as a whole besides healers. So really a different uh, take here. We're also not seeing repeat uh, heroes against the other team. We saw a lot of Sigma on both sides. Uh, so they're really changing it up, trying something new here. Anytime that you see a Genji and a Winston, you know it's going to be a really aggressive team. And Skeechers is a flying damage player named Echo. So they're looking to just really harass, it looks like, and push up against the enemy team. So we'll see if they do that. All right, so we're watching All Schmitty here. He is uh, very tanky. He's just all about jumping in. So we're going to see how safe he plays it. So he's got a good spot here. He's just doing a little plank damage above him here. Gets behind him a little bit just by chance. The other team really pushing in. 
So they do pick Ashik off very, very early. That is super tough for our guys. The other guys wanted to claim this point and then they get a payload. So you want to hold off on this first one as long as possible. Offshmitty does get killed. Katakuna very low now. So it's kind of up to Tropics and Skeechers here to do enough damage to hold them off. Skeechers gets picked. So Call Ricky really doing a lot of damage here as Sigma. Tropics just trying to stay alive, trying to cause problems, at least get a pick here, and isn't able to. The Bastion, uh, or Baptiste little uh, invulnerable field there saved the life that Tropics was trying to take. So they do get the early point. Now it is a payload, and you can see at the top there, there's the bar just like last week. There is two points on this. They're going to try and get it to this first save point at least so that it cannot be pushed back any further. They also receive extra time once they get it there. So Alshmany gets the early kill there, and he is now behind lines and tries to get the Sigma as low as he can. This is how you see Winston play, just jumping everywhere and just causing problems. I believe this is the goal of the lineup right now. He gets hit way up in the air. Gets behind him, though. Isn't able to get the kill somehow. Super low. That Baptiste must have saved that person really, really close to death. Still able just to get behind them, though. Gets Abstract Fox. And Ashit gets a kill. Oshman, he gets a Crow as well. Really good push. See, this person behind here is not pushing the payload, so you don't have to worry about it too much. They cannot push the payload if they're not near it, so... They're just trying to cause problems, but you can see there at the top, the payload is being moved backwards, so... We do have a Tropics ult. Katakuna also has the ult, and we've got two more close. The other team does have a lot of ult potential here, though, in this next fight. Looks like they might have four. So you can hear the other guys getting close here. Genji v Genji here. Really tough fight. Both of them so mobile, able to just jump and run up walls freely. Genji is a very tough character to play, but Colin, which is our Tropics here, seems to be doing a great job. Alright, so the other Genji did ult here, which is really tough. Gets in. Call Ricky and Crow both pick up kills. Lander gets Tropics. So it looks like they're going to have the payload be pushed pretty far here. Hopefully they can stop him before they get to that next checkpoint. They might not be able to spawn in time, though. Oshmitty getting in there, trying to slow it down. Doesn't die, though, so did a good job of just halting the progress. So our guys here just able to, with all this mobility they have, able to just shoot and harass from a lot of different angles. It's really tough to get picks against a team like this where they're flying around. As you can see Skeechers here has ulted the Sigma ults as well though, so this is back and forth. Katakuna goes down, Oshmity very low, Ashik gets killed. So both healers down, but Skeechers really using everything they can here to slow them down. Oshmity now low. Ashik is still down. Skeechers down. Tropics is low. Not able to get a kill here. Lander almost dies, but isn't dead still. So really, really tough push by Ball State. And looks like they're going to get that point. So the gates will open here. And now they are pushing to that final objective. And it gets harder for the offensive team as you get further because their spawn point is further away. So it does give us the advantage here. But again, you want to stop this payload as early as possible because... If you stop it early, you only have to push it to that point when you're on offense to win. So this is going to be tough. They're going to have to push it basically all the way at this point in time. And so hopefully they don't let them get it to there. You can see that little star on the ground is where they're trying to push that to. So we're right on it now. This is the end of the map. So they do get a pick on Lander and Call Ricky, which is great. Call Ricky's been very good uh, on Ball State. So Abstract Fox goes down. So that is one of their healers that's going to look like they're going to be able to push them back. And now you can see that payload is moving back. It does move back very slowly. Cynical trying to get behind here. Get a little sneak push or something. Just trying to hide. They are invisible. We can see them. But our guy's not able to. That character is able to turn invisible. So kind of just hanging around. Going to cause some problems. They do get to uh, kind of booby trap healing uh, items. So Tropics does see... Uh, cynical though, able to harass them. So the Sigma, another big ult here. These Sigma ults have been massive. Call Ricky does get Ashik, which is our healer. Oshmini gets Abstract Fox, and Katakuna gets Lander though, so that's two picks here. That's really good. We do have Ashik's down, but that's just one person. Tropics very low, Skeechers very low, but still hanging in there. 
So again, if we can test this point, it will not move as long as we're near it at all, even if the opponents are there. So we're trying to get this Sigma down. We do, Call Ricky is down again. That was a big player for them so far, so that's great. So looks like they're just holding off. They know that they don't want to go in without their main tank. And we do get the pick on Cynical, which is great. They've been running around causing all kinds of issues. So that is very good for us. That means if they want to push now, they're going to be doing a 4v5, which means they might have to wait even longer. So we have Skeeter's ult and Alshmitty, which can really cause a lot of damage. Soldier ult is very deadly, as well as Winston. All right, so Ashik dot decides to ult here and just get massive healing out. It looks like we get three picks, Lander, Abstract Fox, and Crow all go down. Call Ricky goes down, and Abstract Fox. We are really good push here against uh, Ball State here. Emery is holding this point. It's actually going further back, so they've really turned it around once it's entered this little castle. We didn't even have to use our ults. We still have two, and we're about to have three. All right, so it looks like we only have a minute and 20 seconds. That is quite a bit of time for the other guys to try and get something going here. We've got the Genji ult. Tropics immediately goes down as well as Katakuna. They do have their ults, but we're deciding not to use them at the moment. That is the undo uh, the doing of the opponent there. Cynical is able to hack and cause you not to be able to use your abilities. It looks like they're gonna big push Sigma, big ult here. Call Ricky getting two picks off the ult. Alshmitty though, great character for just running in, getting this ult, pushing the enemies off of the point, getting some kills at it, hopefully. The Sigma is just too tanky, not able to get him, he's got a lot of healing apparently from his healers. And you can see Alshmitty not getting kills, but really causing an issue for the other team, pushing them, separating them, causing them to not be on the payload, which really saved them there. Skeechers does get two uh, picks. Kalriki gets another kill while he's hanging out, but they've only got 20 seconds to get this push here, so Alshmitty just using this as time to push them off and gets a kill. Astrak as well as Skeecher getting cynical, so looks like they're going to be able to hold this most likely. They've only got 10 seconds. So that's a big win. This does mean that they don't have to push it absolutely all the way, which gives them a lot more time to be able to push it further than the... Uh, Ball state here. So the other team is pushing this onto overtime at the last second. The Sigma ult coming out doesn't get. Oh, he gets a double kill. I thought he did not get a kill. Call Ricky getting three kills right there, and Lander getting Ashik. This is not looking good. Really tough push by the enemy team here, and it looks like they might get the payload on there with a team wipe. Very, very tough for the guys. I believe that was on the last second before that went into overtime. The good thing is that they did use all of the time allotted to them, so we are going to have the time shown at the top. That's how long they'll have it to push at uh, all the way to the end there. So we have the same objective. We just need to do it in less time. So we're going to see who they pick here. That was a very, very close match, so we're going to see what they decide to do. Again, this first point is just a capture the point, and then it turns into a payload. So, a little bit different than what the ending looked like there, but the same map. So, it looks like Ballpoint is going to stay mainly with the same team, and... Emery is still picking who they want to play. Oshman, he's not sure if he plays ball or not. Looks like he is sticking with it for now. Ashik also making a change, but Tropics, Skeechers, and Katakuna staying in their roles. Katakuna, I believe, does change healers. So some some small changes. Tropics feels good on the Genji, and Skeechers is feeling good with soldiers. So. And now the world pays for your actions. And we're off, guys. So we're going to see this Cynical has been really tough. They get behind the enemy team, our team, and just cause a lot of problems. Ashik and Katakuna healing here. So we've got a lot of good healing here. They're, they're able to keep the team up, but the other team has pushed us into our spawn, which is always tough to get out of this first zone.
Ichiru's and Katakuna getting a pick though. I'm sorry, that is not a pick. That is just the Baptiste uh, orb there that protects them. He gets that. Tropics gets Lander though. So that is two picks. Now Abstract Fox goes down. Oshman to getting Crow. A very quick push here. If they can finalize this, this would be really, really good for them. That's super quick. So this is where they had trouble last time. They had people coming onto the point and just keeping the uh, time down, but they do get it. So that was a very fast first point. So hopefully they can keep that going. Katakuna just trying to scout out the enemy. He's got so much mobility. He's able to just get in and get out. Not a problem. And the goal here is to stay on the point at all times. Unlike on defense, you have to be touching the point to make it move. So... You can see the Cynical is still just going behind enemy lines. Hard to keep track of them. <clears throat> Oshmany gets very low, but able to stay alive. This ball has so much mobility. They really went for mobility this whole game. So, Tropics trying to get a pick while they're distracted shooting at Oshmany. You can see the point is still moving. We're up near the front of the battle here. This Sigma is pushing hard. Call Ricky gets a kill. Tropics gets Crow, though. A trade, even trade so far. Tropics gets behind and gets another kill here. Skeechers actually picks that up. Tropics really pushing the enemy team back here. Doesn't get the kills, but able to really get some big assists. So, so far, they have had a much better time on offense. So, the big deal is that they have 4 minutes and 18 seconds, though. They have to do it quicker than that. Tropics gets a double... I'm sorry, not a double kill. He gets that old. There's the double kill. And Kalriki gets Skeechers here, so they're really trying to get this signal away from the point just to get it to get to that uh, save point, that objective point there. Tropics really going on a roll here. Lander gets Katakuna, though. Tropics gets Cynical now. A big play for Tropics. This Genji is so tough. We're seeing. We're seeing from our Genji's viewpoint how mobile he is, and you can tell that it's so hard for our, our team to get the enemy Genji based on that. Tropics gets Abstract Fox. Lander, we got two Genjis popping off right now, and we just cannot get this point across. It's been contested for a long time now. Tropics able to get it another kill though, really doing well as Genji. And he finally gets taken out by Call Ricky. A big run from Tropics, though. It helped them push this so fast up to this point. I believe the Emery crew still has plenty of time to get this. They just need to get this point to that objective. They made the call to hold back. All Schmitty and Skeechers just hanging back, waiting for their team. Get a good team push here. The point is moving back, but it moves back very slow, as you can see there. Got a good viewpoint from it from all Schmitty's point of view. <clears throat> the Schmitty looks like he might want to get in and just cause some chaos here. Doesn't have the ult, but we do have Skeechers and Katakuna's ult compared to the enemy team with two ults as well. Ashik taking a big hit there. Katakuna as well. Our team's just taking a ton of damage. Skeechers gets two kills. Skeecher gets three with the ult there. Tropics picks up a kill as well. Ashik gets a kill. That is a big push by our guys here. Skeechers with the big soldier ult. Got around and got a good angle on that. That ult is so good if you're patient enough like that to use it at a good angle, which we did. So there you can see it's busting through the door. And we now have three minutes and 30 seconds to get to the end of the map, just as the opponents did. We do now have an ult against the enemy team's two ults. Tropics gets a early pick, and again, like I said, against us, we pick up two more kills, though. Uh, against us, though, we were great on defense here because we have such a short way to walk on spawn. So that's going to be very tough to push this last little leg here. Tropics really feeling good here. Feeling confident enough to peek out there and get some damage done. He's been having a great game so far. The Sigma's ult comes out. He's been a menace to our guys so far. He's been very, very good. Tropics just staying alive. Call Ricky gets three kills, and all Schmitty gets Abstract's uh, barrier, but doesn't make any play out of it. So Tropics is just having to hang back. Might die here. He gets out. 
So our guys are going to have to regroup. We had most of the team wipe there. And we now have 2 minutes and 20 seconds to get to the point. Oshmedi does get wiped out, unfortunately. Call Ricky just being really, really tough to fight against. Sigma is so tough and tanky with the shield. Our guy's just having a hard time picking him off. So we do have one ult and almost two. We can see if we can get any push with that. Unfortunately, we're up against two as well. So the ult battling has been very, very close. Oshmedi decides to get in there. Ult, so his ult is great for this point. Oshmedi gets a double kill off that. Skeechers knocks out the invulnerability. Oshmedi gets lander. And Skeechers abstract, abstract Fox. So if they can get this final kill, kill here, they can get this payload very, very close, if not all the way. Tropics decides to go up to the front here. He's probably going to pop his ult. There it is. And they get it. Good job by the Emery crew. Very, very tough. And they did it with a minute and 30 to spare. So great game. Now we're going to have a tiebreaker. So that remaining time is what it was all about there. And that's why it matters so much that they were fast. So we've got about 20 seconds here until we get started. We're going to see if they stay with that since they had some success or if they change some stuff up here. Might see some changes from Ballpoint as well. They stayed with the same team that time, but since they didn't do as well on that round, we'll probably see a change or two. So it looks like Emery decides to go with the same crew here. Um, we do see Ball Point or Ball State changing up everything. Uh, they've got a almost entirely new crew. Call Ricky does stay on Sigma, which is not surprising considering he had such a good round. So they're trying to push up right up against our spawn, just like last time. Oshmany trying to get in there. His job is just to split up the defense and cause havoc so that our guys can get in there and get picks on the healers. While Ricky gets an early pick on Skeechers here, Oshmany decides it is time to start picking on Bastion, or Bast Baptiste, I'm sorry, and doesn't it doesn't get the kill, they're having to back up here. Ashik gets killed, Katakuna just trying to keep everybody up, Oshmany trying to hide, so it looks like we're going to have to wait until we can get this full squad here. We do have 50 seconds left, we're trying to get as far as you can with the time allotted here. So they do not have a lot of time at all to get this point. So Oshmany decides it's time to push. They've made the call to go in. Getting a lot of damage on Baptiste here, but not able to get the pick. Colin, Ty, uh, Tropics tries to get in. Get the kill as well. Still not able to get a pick, and the enemy Sigma, Call Ricky, gets two kills, three kills now. Really, really tough. Their Call Ricky has been playing very, very well. It's very tough to go against a good Sigma player. You can see he's feeling confident now. He's chasing Skeechers around. They've got 10 seconds to get to that point. So at this point, they need a Hail Mary play. Oshmity goes in. You can see him. He's going towards that point right now. Trying to just cause at least some confusion for the other team. They do have the point here, and it is contested, and it goes into overtime. Unfortunately, we have three guys down. Landers, Cynical, and Kalriki getting kills. Crow getting a kill, and it looks like that might be it. Ashik decides it's not even worth going in there. So round two does go... Oh, I'm sorry, that is a draw. I believe that was a win. So, I'm not sure what the rules are. I can find out from our guys here, but what the draw will stand for. You can see Call Ricky did have a great game. Yeah, the triple kill by Call Ricky there. Let's see if he gets another pick. I don't remember exactly if he did. Very, very tough. So, we're going to take a break. Until we get onto this next round, guys, we'll see you here in a moment.
All right, so we are back. We checked the ruling on that uh, draw, so it actually just doesn't count. So as we stand now, Ball State has one win. Emory does not have a win. So that last game just basically is mute, doesn't count. So we're going to get right back into it here. We've got six more seconds to assemble the heroes. So we're going to see what we pick. We do have a payload-only map, so we'll see if we go. It's been really close. Even though Ball State did get that win, it's been very, very close. So we've got all Schmitty, his Spanner, Tropics, Katakuna, and Ashik in. And Ballpoint keeps it the same with Abstract Fox, Lander, Cynical, Crow, and Call Ricky. I could do this on my own. All Schmitty going back to Reaper here. We did see a really good play from All Schmitty earlier in that very first match. Able to get behind the uh, enemy team and get a several kills at, at least it was at least two so that is massive when you're in that back line because those are their vital heroes like the healers so his banner trying to play the long game here gets a very early pick on genji that is a tough kill tough shot ashmi gets very low but able to make it out he does heal when he shoots so it's easy to stay alive as reaper as long as you're paying attention Tropics still playing back to tank here. Didn't play uh, damage this time. A little bit of a change for Emery. Alshmany again low. His Spaniard low, but everybody's staying up. Ashik and Katakuna doing a good job keeping the team healed here. And they're just contesting this point. So the longer the better here. You can see at the top below the little bar, it does say contested when it is. So that is something to look out for. You know it's not moving when you see that. So his Spanner does get picked off. He is rezzed by Ashik though, so they're still in the fight. And the guy's doing a good job just just contesting. Ashmedi very far forward here, just contesting this point. But we got the Sigma ult. Does get Ashik and Lander picks off his Spanner again. Lander with Katakuna as well. So three kills by uh, Ball State here. Tropics in a 1v1 kind of situation here with the Sigma decides it's not worth it and starts to run away. Lander picks off Alshmedi as well. So very, very tough start uh, here for Emery. They did have a good little stint there, but then a big wipeout. Decide it's time to group up, let the point get pushed, and they're going to try and stop it before it gets to this first of two points. All right, so we do have several ults coming in here. Ashik decides to go ahead and pop it here. They do not want it to get pushed to this. Cynical has the ult going on the opponent team here. Ashik gets the res on Alshmedi. So again, we've had two reses. That's really quick. Tropics here with the ult. His Spaniard, we get to see that. Nice headshot. That's two for them. Crow gets his Spaniard, though. Now, they do have the guys pushed off the point, so the point is retreating a little bit. This is what you want. Very, very tough to do for a long period of time, though. You can see this kind of this corner situation is good for them. Just holding this corner. And Cynical, I'm sorry, Carl Ricky does another ult. See if he gets any kills with it. He gets Tropics, unfortunately. He's been really, really good at that ult. Crow and Lander follow up. Lander getting another kill. Carl Ricky getting a kill. That is everyone but his Spaniard. So he's going to just try and retreat out of there. And he isn't able to. So another big push from Ball State. Now, Emery did do a good job holding off that first point. That did take quite a bit of time, so I'm sure they're not too upset about that. It's it's mostly inevitable that the uh, attacking team will get some points pushed, so as long as you make it take a long time, you're going to be happy with that. We, we do have two, three ults, excuse me. So let's see if we decide to pop any here. How important they think it is to hold it here. Tropics does pop that ult, and Alshmidi gets a kill off of it. And it is very luckily, I'm sure they're not mad that Call Ricky is down. His Spaniard gets another kill. He's been great with the uh, with the the character change here. Been very very good for him. Ash just seems to be something he's comfortable with. Able to just get these high. These buildings are great. Just hide up top, almost like sniper like here. 
So we're a little bit of a stalemate here. If the enemy team is just holding that point, his Spaniard almost gets killed from behind. They really don't like him up there, but he's able to escape and unfortunately gets picked by Kalriki, but he gets a res. Lander gets Katakuna though, so it's kind of down a man here, even with the res. Oshmedi, you can see in there just really bullying them around. Staying alive though, very, very close to death, but he makes it. So that was a good push by Oshmedi there. That was sticking his neck out and it worked. So you see Tropics and Oshmedi just harassing this uh, Kalriki and they finally get him. So every time they've gotten Kalriki off the point as a tank, uh, it's really let them push it back. So the tanks are really important on these payload maps. You can see his spanner decides to just hold the top one here, kind of like a sniper duel. The Widowmaker really, their job is to pick off his spanner and not able to do so. They've got a lot of damage boosting and healing onto his spanner right now. They, the team seems to value him up there. So Lander does pop his ult and gets a kill on Katakuna. Crow, Alshmiti gets two kills though, turns it back around. That's a massive for Emery. His spanner gets a pick here, doing great as Ash this round. Having a really, really good round shooting wise. So we we did use some ults there. We still have two, but I I think it's totally worth it as long as the point is not moving. And it looks like I would call that a win in their book. So Oshmedi picks off Crow. His banner trying to get another pick and does on Cynical. Doing a great job up here. The Emery crew must really like this map because they are feeling themselves. Seems like they just know what to be doing. Now let's see how bad the cynical ult here is. Excuse me, call Ricky. Doesn't get a pick on it. Tropics picks off Landers, so even with the enemy ult there, it wasn't able to push the uh, Emery guys back at all. So really, really good job defending there. And they've got the point locked down. It has been a long while since the, the payload has moved at all. You can see it finally does start to move, but our guys are still there. Cynical does pick off Tropics though, which is our tank, so that's gonna be a big push by the enemy team. Katakuna goes down. They might just let them push this. They just don't want it to get to that next point because it does award more time. So they have 10 seconds to get it to that next little blip you see at the top. Call Ricky gets a kill. Landers picks off his Spaniard. So it looks like they might be able to push it here unless we get a hero play by the few guys left. It is in overtime, so they cannot leave the point, or they lose. So you can see the Sigma ult goes off. Landers doesn't get... Call Ricky getting a double kill. Cynical gets a kill. Ashik res is Katakuna, though. Tropic picks off Ashtrak Fox, which is their healer, so that's very good for us. Not able to do it, though. Very unfortunately, they get it through with the Team Ace onto the next point. So they are now moving to the final objective point. Um, and once it gets to that point, we just want to do it quicker if they get it there. Our guys almost were able to stop it the last round, so we'll see if they can do that here. The Tropics just getting some damage here, just trying to slow him down. Oshmedi up top, just doing some damage. He did make a switch here. The Spaniard staying is Ash, feeling really good about the headshotting here. Oshmedi getting behind the lines here, gonna go for a healer most likely. Oh, stops the oh, wasn't able to stop the ult, almost able to stop the ult. Lander, Kalriki, Cynical, Lander getting three kills there with the ult, and Cynical as well getting a double kill. That is very tough. Big push at the end there by Ball State, all at once. So it's not all over for the Emery guys, we can still do a faster push. They have 26 seconds remaining, so we want to do it faster than them. Initiating match. So we're going to see if they make any changes here. Um, usually the, the team that loses, or not loses, but feels like they had a tougher time will make some changes. Usually nothing crazy so far. So we might just see like a damage player change or... A tank change but you never know they might feel good with it so we do have his Spaniard makes a change here Oshmiti switches to Widow Tropics going with the Sigma Ashik and Katakuna will then be our healers as usual so we'll see if they get any more uh, luck on offense
But anytime you have sniper-like characters like Oshmany and his Spaniard, it's all about getting those picks from a long distance, really trying to get uh, the focals on healers, and if you can, a damage player is great as well, but the healers are the big goal for them. You knock the healer out, it's going to be much easier for your team to knock the tank down or another damage player with a lot of health. You can see Oshmany trying to get an angle here. Misses that first shot. Un unable, just barely not able to get the view on him. Does get the hit. His Spaniard knocks out Cynical though, which is a really good early pick. His Spaniard uh, almost thought he got another kill. I keep thinking that's a kill. It's not. It is actually the Baptiste uh, invisibility thing, or invulnerability. So we're watching his Spaniard here. He's up against this Genji. This Genji's behind here. It's really tough fight for both guys, actually, with the mobility that they both have. Genji's really tough to keep up with. Almost get him. He's one hit. And as long as they have him pushed away, they finally get it. Osh uh, Tropics, rather, gets the kill on Lander. That Genji is so tough to kill, but when you do, it is so rewarding. Playing against a Genji can be very annoying. I know some of the guys think it's really, really tough. He's just flying all over the place. So you can see the point is still moving, uh, even though they're not getting kills here, uh, like crazy, as long as that point is moving, that is all that matters. See Tropics here, just playing tank, Just that means you're just pushing up, taking all the damage for your team, really controlling the other guys. The Sigma here gets an, gets an ult, doesn't get a kill with it though, Ashram, he picks off Cynical. Crow does get the res on Cynical though, so that's tough. That's tough. It's really tough when you get a kill and then they get resed immediately, but that does take a um, long time to come back from Mercy to be able to do that again. Awesome, he picks off Lander. The crew doing a good job staying alive, but they're not able to move the point right now. Tropic's trying to get that Reaper, unable to do so. Ab uh, Abstract Fox does get picked off by Ashmany though, which is big. That is the one of the two healers on the other team here. Trying to get this Reaper. He He's able to shadow away. The other team doing a really good job of just kind of scattering around, distracting the Emery crew here. Uh, his Spaniard uh, does get a kill on the Cynical, and Ashik reses Katakuna once he got picked off. Tropic's getting Crow now. He's got several guys low, but unable to get a pick there. That was really, really tough. It actually says he killed himself. His, I believe his auto attack can kill you. Um, yourself if you're using that but looked like he was going to go down either way so the guy's going to have to regroup here they do have a minute and 30 seconds to get it to this first point before the extra time is awarded we got a change here to torbjorn and we haven't seen a torbjorn yet since we've been going this season so that's new his spanner does have his ult we actually have three ults now and the enemy team has three ults as well So there goes our first ult. We've got the Hispanic ult going off. Unable to get a kill though. Uh, it doesn't look like it even hit, unfortunately. So now we have Tropics is nano boosted. He's in there. That That is an Ana ult and able to just give you a ton of extra damage. This Reaper ult though, really tough, but Alshmidi is able to stop him while he's ulting. That could have wiped out the whole team. So really good on Alshmidi to get that kill. But he's just running around his Torb here, doing a ton of damage. He's got the turret down as well, which is a huge help. Katakuni gets Lander. Call Ricky gets the Oshmity, and Tropics, or um, excuse me, his Spaniard gets Abstract. So it's a big trade here. Three guys dead on the uh, Ball State point here. Uh, Tropics gets Cynical, and it looks like they're going to get that point to this objective. A lot happening here all at once. It's, it's very tough to keep up with. If you ever need, just look at the top right. It's going to show the kill feed. Um, when you have so many ults going off, it can be kind of crazy. It's, it takes a lot of teamwork to even coordinate that. So you're going to see multiple ults popping off at the same time and a lot of deaths at the same time. Oshmedi gets a kill on Lander. Very tough shot, I'm, I'm assuming, with the uh, Torbjorn gun there. So Tropic's able to bounce off his, uh, his uh, auto there off that wall and still damage them. Just plink damage, but it can make a difference if they get a little bit um, uh, ahead of themselves. So you can see Tropic's main job here is to just stay on the point. He is being healed by uh, our healers, so he's just trying to be tough, stay on the point. Cynical does get Oshmity, 
And that is the only pick that has happened in a bit here. So we have the Genji ult going off. Let's see if he, they can survive that. So Lander does pick up a kill with his ult. Crow getting two kills. Ashik picked, decides to res uh, Tropics here. Decides it's worth it to stay on the point. But it's looking like Tropics might die here. Very, very low, but Ashik able to keep him alive. Really, really close. And they're able to keep him alive. So the Emery crew regrouping here. Tropics gonna ult there. And then we have a Hispanic ult, which could be a good combo, but they're unable to get a kill. Tropics does get call Ricky. Landry gets Hispanic though. So a little quick trade there. Cynical gets Katakuna. So Ashik here, the only healer on the team alive. Alshmidi gets Lander. He's gotten that uh, Genji a few times here. He's really making that his goal. Tropics gets Cynical, so it's looking good for the Emery team here. Tropics getting a double kill there at the end with a bash kill. So good job there. Alshmidi picking up that Genji that's causing problems, and Tropics with the double kill really turned that around. You can see he places the tur uh, turret there. It's really nice when you can get the enemy team to not pay attention to that turret because it's going to do plink damage. You can see he's ulted the entrance there. Doing damage to anybody who stands on that lava. Hispander and uh, Hispander getting a kill. Tropics trying an ult there. Doesn't get it to Papa. Oh, excuse me. He did not ult. It was the enemy team ult. Also, Smitty just getting really close and personal with this uh, call. Ricky Ashik getting uh, res on Katakuna, and Katakuna gets a kill instantly. But all Schmitty goes down from Lander. So his Spaniard picks off Lander. Tropics gets Abstract Fox, so it's it's looking pretty good. We're in overtime, just like the other team. They were in overtime in the same position here. So this must be a tough point to capture. This Reaper tries a final ult, but does not get anything off. Uh, Tropics getting that kill on Cynical is insane. That's twice they put the uh, Reaper ult down, so that is really good. That's a very, very good ult. can definitely wipe a team out quick. So we now have a minute and 10 seconds to get the payload to the final point. We want to do it fast than the other team to have more time. Katakuna gets the fast pick on Lander. It's great when a healer gets a pick like that. So all Schmitty decides to really, really put uh, a lot into the pushing effort here. His Spaniard runs in, Tropics, Alshmitty gets a kill, gets two kills there, gets a kill with the turret on Call Ricky, that's amazing, that's what I was talking about with the turret, if you're not paying attention to it, can really get some kills. Ashik reses Alshmitty, decides to keep him in it, Alshmitty gets Crow right off the bat, a great res here, and a really, really good push by Amory, if they can get it all the way into that golden square there, unable to, it's contested now, Ashik does get Call Ricky, the healer there, gets a kill. This banner gets Lander, and it looks like it's going to get there. So very, very close. We're going to see um, if they can pull it out here. This is a very similar game to that last match already. Both teams pushing the payload all the way. So it looks like we have a really, really even matchup here. Both guys really, really doing well. So once again, if you're just joining, we are um, starting the tiebreaker here on our third match. Although it's our third match, it is only um, one win in the rule book in the book so far. We've got Ball State with a win, and Emery very, very much on their tail though, playing really, really well, uh, almost taking the rounds twice from them. So. The last match was a draw, so it did not count, which leaves us, like I said, I one win for Ball really State. So it's really, really close, as you can see. It's 3-3 right now. The last match went the same way, so hopefully we can get a win off this. We do have a couple changes. We have Alshmidi and Hispanard both changing up who they're playing. Tropics decides to stay as Sigma. Katakuna makes a change as well, so we'll see if that makes the difference. So Alshmidi is going to be flying a lot, trying to just harass gets the uh, vantage points. They do not like them being on the roof, so that's probably why Alshmidi picked this hero. Lander gets Katakuna very quick, unfortunately. Cynical gets his standard. And these tiebreakers, it's all about how fast you can do here. Alshmidi gets a kill, but Crow gets the res on that kill very quickly. You can see Alshmidi getting up there and just pushing these guys out of here. 
Lander does pick up off Schmitty, but Ashik gets the res on that. Unfortunately, Call Ricky gets Ashik very quickly. We've got a lot of deaths, a lot of trading happening really, really quick. As you can see, it's in contested point. We're just trying to get as far as we can. 16 seconds only left, though. Uh, his banner does get picked off by Lander. So, looking really, really tough here. We've only got five seconds left going to be tough unless they can stay contested on the point which is very very hard to do so Tropic's going to stay near that point or there's no way they can do it Oshmi does get a two kills though last second uh Call Ricky and Cynical do get two back though but looks like we're going to have the point here moving forward Call Ricky not able to stop Oshmi on the point here big play by Oshmi with the old there very very tough uh Ashik trying to get back to get heals on uh Oshmity, so Katakuna picking off Kalriki, a big final push, very last second, you can see we're still in overtime, we have to stay on this point for the remainder of the game until we get to that uh, point up above, which is the double door that you can see, so that can be a long ways to go in Overwatch. So we do have an ult on the other team, Tropics gets a quick pick on Echo, which would have been a tough shot, Crow gets the res on... Uh, Lander, but we know we got the early thing there. His Spander gets Crow. Got a lot of trading going on here. Tropics, we're getting Emery gets three picks back to back to back, which is great. So, and it looks like they get that early point. So we're still in overtime. So, excuse me, I said that we would have more time, but uh, it's overtime now. You only have that time at the top uh, in this tiebreaker for the entirety of it. So they're just trying to see how far they can push it in only overtime. It's gonna be really tough for our guys. Looks like we're playing really aggressive here at their spawn, just trying to keep them away from the point at this point. They do not want them even near. Allschmitty getting a triple kill though. That is two major plays from Allschmitty. Really good game as far right now. Trying to get the fourth kill here on the Sigma. Can he get it? There it is. So that is, I believe, four kills from All Schmitty. A big play by Farah. Literally saved them. Uh, they saved the game a moment ago, and then a huge push because of him now. You see the guys. The, that big push really paid off. Using that ult really well. We do have Katakuna's ult as well, which can really be a big one. Decides to pop it off. You can see that big beam there is Katakuna. It heals and damages, depending on if it's an enemy or an ally. It gets uh, gets a pick here. Oshmitty gets cynical. Oshmitty gets Lander as well. Oshmitty really tearing through right now. Feels really, really good. You can see these small changes can really just change up how the whole game works. He has the ult again, and he is really harassing the other team here. Oshmitty and his banner both getting uh, on the board there. Cynical finally takes out uh, Oshmitty, ends that little uh, kill streak he had. Uh, Ashik decides it's well worth to res Oshmitty though. So we're gonna see if we can get to this final point it would be massive. Oshmitty gets another kill, another double kill with the ult. That ult has been massive for the Emery crew. We're gonna see if we can get, to the point is still moving. His Spaniard gets Call Ricky at the very end, and it looks like they're gonna have a really good shot here if they can get this pick. There they do, and the enemy Mercy able to fly in. Really last second clutch there by the enemy team. His Spaniard picks off three, two, um, excuse me, Tropics gets two, and that's gonna do it. We got some crazy clutch plays by the Emery crew there. Oshmitty really just tearing through. Everybody playing well, but Oshmitty definitely made the difference there. So now we're going to play defense, and we do not want them to get three points. That's all we have to do. So just halting that point as much as possible. <clears throat> so we'll see if they stay on those champions or not, or if they feel like they're not going to work for defense. So we've got just a moment while we load in our characters. Surviving. And how's Murphy doing much better now that you aren't feeding her? So unsurprisingly, Oshmini decides to stay as Farah here. His Spaniard also staying. 
looks like we're actually staying all around. We really like that match. Even though we're playing defense, they feel like that's going to be the key. Sometimes just playing who you're best as or who you're hot as is the answer in a game like this. So no complaint here. We had a fantastic round. Probably the best round we've had in the whole season. All right, so the other guys do have only one minute. Uh, so just like us, we, we actually only didn't even make it to that first point before it went into overtime. So expect to see that. Lander does pick off off Schmitty. They've actually picked up a far as well. They really liked what they saw. So they're going to try it out, see if they have the same luck as we did. But hopefully not. Tropics does pick off Stenicle. So that's an early trade there for us. And off Schmitty should be back pretty soon. Abstract does get that res. We've seen a lot of res. That's why you see Mercy a lot in all these games. That res is so strong. Lander picks off his Spanner, which is not good for the guys. But Alshmitty, back in the game, gets a pick on Crow. You can see he's just tearing them up from above. Katakuna also gets a pick. But Ashik, our healer, goes down. You see Alshmitty just doing a great job. Lander gets a kill with the ult, but not able to perform as high as Alshmitty did. Tropics picks off Lander, so... Not the not as deadly as it was for um, uh, Ashmedi, which is great for our guys at Emory. So doing a good job here. They've only got uh, well, they're out of time. It's in overtime already. Very very tough. You can see they're throwing out the ults. Call Ricky, see if he can do something. Here. Gets a double kill with the ult. Very very tough. Might see a last second push here by Ball State. You can see Ashmedi does have the ult. He's gonna wait and be patient with that. Trying to get this kill before he has to use it, but decides to go ahead and pop it off, gets the kill. Ashik reses Tropics, so the whole crew is here. Gets another pop. Tropics gets killed with the ult there. Gets another kill. Really, really good job by Emery here. They just got to get this last person off the point, and they do, and they win the round. So it is now 1-1. Very, very tough and long match uh, from both teams here. They're really, really closely matched. So we're going to take a short break after we watch this. Uh, highlight and we'll be right back for uh, round four.
I seek answers when we do not know the question. Make your preparations. Careful research is effective research. Hello there. What a curious feeling. Hello. Hello. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Objective unlocks in 30 seconds. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, we've had a really, really close match between the two, Ball State and Emery, neck and neck so far. The only game that did not go into overtime was the very first one, uh, Ball State won, and we were still very close. Our second match went uh, all the way to overtime and then a draw. And then our third match, uh, Emery takes it, but went into overtime to get it. So it's been as close as it can be so far. So we're going to see... Um, if we can hold it true, or if it's going to be a nail biter all the way, who knows? It looks like we've got Oshmini, His Spaniard, Tropics, Katakuna, and Ashik in right now, so we're keeping the same crew in. Oshmini staying with that Fara though, and I don't blame him. That was an insane Fara round in that last match, so hopefully we see some more. Every time we ulted with the Fara, we got at least two kills, so really, really good job by the whole crew. It's not just all Schmitty. I mean, the whole crew has to work together to get those kills in the first place. So let's see if we can go here. So the robot will unlock in 22 seconds. We'll keep an eye on that. Right now, the team's just trying to get to the point. And this is a 10 minute capped time. You can see his Spaniard not afraid to get in there and cause some damage. Tropic still playing that Sigma, which we've seen a lot on both squads tonight. Call Ricky on the other team. Watch out for him. He's been getting a lot of picks on our guys. He's been a very, very tough opponent. So we have a lot of good healing both sides. Both sides are staying very well healed up, even with all this damage going off. But Katakuna gets a pick. Ashmiti as well. Two quick ones by the Emery squad here. Oshmi takes out uh, Abstract Fox as well as his banner getting a pick. So really, really good start by Emery, and they do have the robot moving forward here. <laughs> Let us push. So this is a little push and pull map. Our squad wants to get to those same objectives like you see in the payload, except the other team can push it back. With that quick wipe, you do see the payload move quite a bit. Anytime you wipe out a team like that, the payload is going to move a lot because they're going to have to wait to regroup. Tropic's not afraid to get in there with all of this good healing by the Emery squad. His Spaniard knocks out the uh, invisibility orb, invulnerability orb, excuse me, and you have to do that. That Bas uh, Baptiste is so tough if he can get that out and your team doesn't wipe it out. So they've done a good job all night targeting that. And Al Shmidi gets a triple kill. The Farah play continues to be good here. That single-handedly won the game, I would say, in that last match because they were out of the count until Oshmiti got the kills. Gets Call Ricky as well, so the, actually, Emery squad might need to be a little careful here. Almost gets their healer wiped out uh, leaving the point, but they all get back in time and they are fine, so a really big play again by Oshmiti. Having a really good night. Alright, and they do get to that checkpoint, so that is a point for the Emery squad. We do have three ults, but the enemy team is going to have at least four in this next fight. So Ashik decides to go ahead and use theirs. 
lets them uh, be able to fly around and heal a lot more. Tropics throwing out that ult quick. They're using these ults quick. They're not they're not holding on to them too long, which could you know could be a great thing. Just throwing them out quick. We do have Lander on the opponent team here doing the soldier ult, but his spanner knocks him out. So insane. We've stopped the ult there. Ashmani gets the kill on another healer crow. So that's two picks for the Emery squad here. You can see that was that Baptiste thing stops the invulnerability. Tropics gets the kill off the bounce. So he's able to shoot into rooms really well and get kills in rooms like that by bouncing those orbs off the walls. So still no deaths here. Ashmani gets that ult again. So be looking for that. That's been a massive play for Emery every time they've used it. They've been very patient waiting till the enemy team is grouped up or kind of forgets about them honestly so looks like they're in a tough spot here other team is very aware of them uh they definitely do not like ashmedi flying around so that's three picks for uh ball state make it four so they're gonna be pushed back here that bot you can see at the top is moving back now he goes very quick back to that center point and then it is going to slow back down when they start pushing into our territory All right, so we do have a couple ults here. Alshmany is still holding on to theirs, waiting for that big play. That's the key with these ults in this game is you want to just be smart with them. They're not a instant kill. You have to still play them smart. See, Alshmany still getting kills even without the ult. Gets the abstract box, flying around. Just got to be tough to play against Alshmany right now. Flying around, causing so much trouble. Gets a double kill. His Spaniard and Tropics both getting kills there. Doing a great job all together. Everybody working really well together. We've got two ults ready to go as well. The Sigma ult and the um, Farah ult have both been very strong for both teams tonight. So those are two good ones to have. All right, Ashik doing a good job. Um, you know, you got to appreciate a good Mercy player. And that is a... It's actually quite hard to heal as well as they have been, so... Good job by the healers tonight. Ashik almost dies. Uh, Call Ricky gets two kills, but ultimately able to keep Ashik alive there. But Call Ricky gets a third kill on Emery, so it's really been tough to fight against him. He's been their one of their best players for sure by a long shot. And Call Ricky gets the fourth there. Really, really tough right now. So Emery's still in the lead so far. They have 105 meters against 15 by uh, Ball State. So. Doing a good job by the Emery crew here. This is definitely the most one-sided so far that we've seen tonight. Kariki gets that early pick on Ashmiti, but uh, Ashik decides it is definitely worth it. Unfortunately, picked off immediately by Lander. He shot his little uh, rockets there and was able to one-shot him. Tropics, not sure if it's worth it to use the uh, ult here. He's holding on to it. So the uh, opponent Sigma decides it's worth it to ult and doesn't get a kill off of though, but Abstract able to finish Tropics off there. So they, they can afford to let this uh, point push a little bit, which it looks like they might have to. Um, they are only at 45, getting close to half is what Emery has. So we are hanging on to three ults now, so we'll definitely see some of these pop here in this next full team fight. Right now, Ashmiti and Ashik just hanging on to this area, causing problems while they wait for the team. Ashmiti does get wiped out there by Lander. Lander has been having a really good round so far for the other team. As well as Kyle Ricky, of course, he's been great all night for them. So we do see Katakuna's ult, another very strong ult, again with it, both the healing and damage it can do. So you can see over the top, it's now 80 meters to 105, so it's getting closer and closer here. Cynical picks off Katakuna, but we're going to get the res. And off the res, Katakuna decides to go ahead and ult immediately. So Sigma is going to ult right back at him. And we have an ult from Cynical, and that's two kills from Cynical. Call Ricky picks off a third for their team. Ashmedi is able to give one right back, though. 
So we have lost the lead now. It's getting very, very close. 105 to 107, but we are contesting this robot. Not moving. Ashik just hanging out. Really doing a good job of just flying around. Decided it's really worth it to hang out uh, around the point. His banner gets that kill on Crow. So Ash uh, Ashik really... Uh, the uh, little chance there pays off able to stop that uh, robot from moving at all and the robot is now moving back to its thinner point So his spanner gets lander which is great lander's had a good round so far so you gotta keep an eye on him Oshmany did make a change to tracer we're gonna see if that is the uh, the changing factor here they, they do not like how it's been halted up call Ricky gets two kills though on Emery Really, really tough. Tropics decides to go toe to toe with him. Gets some healing. Uh, makes it out alive, but unable to get the pick there on uh, Call Ricky. And unfortunately, Cynical does pick off Tropics there while he was low. So we have a minute and 35 left uh, right now. Ball State is ahead by only six meters, less than six meters. So, very, very close game. But as this, as the clock winds down, it's going to be harder for Emery to get that bot back to the middle and all the way pushed against them, because it will have to be in overtime. Oshmidi, unable to get a pick there with the ults, so very very tough for Emery. Call Ricky gets a kill on Katakuna, and Oshmidi is down. Tropics returns the favor to Cynical though, and Lander gets his Spanner with the ult. We've seen ults fly left and right right now. Unable to keep Tropics alive. Ashik trying to do the best there to keep the tanks alive, unable to do so, just so much damage. Running out of time, we got 49 seconds. Ashik, Katakuna, and Oshmany all go down. So it's up to Tropics here to just kind of waste time. They cannot let them get to this final point or the game is over. Now, it is contested, but they have a very, very tough way uh, for the rest of the game at this point with only 30 seconds left. We are seeing some ults fly here by Emery. Tropics not afraid to just push up against this soldier. Call Ricky gets a kill with that ult. Katakuna gets a kill back against Lander. So it's looking okay for Emery right now, but again, very tough with the time that they have left. Only four seconds left on the true clock here. And they're very much pushed up against their own uh, spawn here, which is, in a way, good at this moment because they get such a quick spawn. Oshmedi and Katakuna both get picked off. Uh, Ashik gets picked off, and Tropics loses the mech here, so it's going to be very, very tough. He's trying to hang around the point as long as possible, and the overtime bar is now going down with the team wipe, and that round goes to Ball State. A very, very close match again by the Emery crew and Ball State. It's neck and neck so far. So it is best of five, so it's uh, first to three wins. That does put Ball State ahead and at match point here with two wins. Emery did come back though, and they're definitely not out. They've been playing very, very well. So we'll be back in a moment just to see who if they can uh, hang in this game for a little longer. Je me sens vivante. 
You must lay me. A threat emerges. You can't hide. No one can hide from my sight. All right, so one last chance for Emery here at Elos. Um, this is a capture the, uh, or like King of the Hill rather, style objective. So it's going to be best of three little mini rounds here. Uh, Ball State is ahead with two wins. It's best of five, so if they get this one, that'll put them at three and they win for the night. So Emery has this last chance here to pull it back, which it has been so close every time. Nothing is off the table. I could see them easily winning the next two um, if they play like they have. So, looks like we're running Ashmedi, Hispanic Tropics, Katakuna, and Ashik again. Uh, we did make a sub earlier tonight, but they've decided to hold with this team probably just because it's been so close and so back and forth. So, as we get going here, guys, uh, just be hoping that the uh, team can just play like they have been. It's been a really, really good showing, even if they uh, are down right now. So, good job for Emery. All right, last second change by Katakuna here to switch to Ana. Um, they must really like uh, having that ability of that big ult uh, for this King of the Hill style match. Alshmidi again on Torbjorn, which I love to see. I'm a big Torbjorn fan. They do see that turret right away, which is sad, but Cynical getting Katakuna so quickly. That's really unfortunate. Cynical's been like the Dark Horse player for the other team. Uh, it's been a back and forth. I mean, everybody's playing so well on both teams, so you love to see that. Tropics getting a quick double though, and it looks like we're gonna take this point quick. Ashmedi with a in-air shot, awesome shot by Ashmedi there. That's a tough gun to shoot like that. It has such a delay from when you shoot it, so really, really cool. Our right, guys push up in front of the point. We've seen that all night. They love to uh, capture the objective and then push past. So you'll see that on both teams. It's definitely uh, very tough to deal with when you're pushed up against your spawn like that. It's a slightly risky move, but it's paid off for both teams so far. Alright, so back and forth here. Uh, nobody has died on either team. We have several people low, but no kills. You can see that Baptiste by Katakuna, the switch there, actually saved his Spaniard and Alshmidi with the uh, invulnerability that they have. So, really good switch, I think. Tropics has the ult here. Could be insane on this map. Unable to find a, a group of guys here and misses 
Very, very tough for Tropics here. I know he's kicking himself over that one. And then we have a Roadhog ult pushing Tropics off the point and gets the kill. Just a little bit of a miss there uh, by the Emery crew. No big deal though. Easy to bounce back from. And Ashik killed by Call, uh, Call Ricky. So Call Ricky getting the double kill now. So Emery ahead though with 70% to their 5%. So, you know, they're not in a rush here. They know they've got time to get back to that point. And it's usually very good for the Emery crew when they get that early lead like that on these points. All right, so we see an Oshmini ult here. Uh, just really trying to take this point. Uh, he's had a really good game so far with uh, Torb as well. Does get knocked out by Lander, but Ashik picks off Lander in return. So, right now it's a fair trade. Crow does go down, so it looks like Emery might be able to have a good push here onto the point, and it is contested, but still rising for the ball point uh, or ball state team. His banner getting a double kill, and it is going to give them the point. So, really good job by the Emery crew by taking this back. They knew they had the time and they had the patience to get back onto that point, so. Now almost up to 80% and we just hit 80. Only 20 more percent to go. They know they've got a at least one, possibly two more big pushes from Ball State. Now up to 90, uh, so Ball State's decided to use all their time here for this last final push. So this is where it's all that. Unfortunately, they have several ults, so it's gonna be really, really tough. We had several big ults there pop off. Uh, Lander and Call Ricky and Crow uh, all getting uh, some big damage. His Fanner returns the favor to Lander though. Topix now has the ult. We're probably going to see either the Emery crew ult back and try and hold it here, or they're going to give it to him and use their time that they have to return. Looks like you're going to see them pull back, decide it's worth it to just let them have the point and come back. And it's now 99 percentile to 53 percent in Emery's favor. So you can see that other team here pushing up against our spawn just like we were doing to them. Just some plink damage causes them to waste some time, you know. So we do have a Tropics ult here with Sigma. It's been very good. He did miss it that last time, but so far tonight he's been great. And he decides to pop it up there. Call Ricky getting two Roadhog kills, though. Very tough. And uh, time is starting to be an issue now that the uh, ball... Uh, ball State team is at 81%. Tropix does get a pick there on Crow, and Katakuna follows up with a pick against Lander, and then they're gonna have the point here, but it is contested, and they get the quick kill into overtime here. You can see they've switched characters to high mobility characters, like this ball here, just trying to get onto the point at all. Let's see if they can hold it here just a second more. And they're gonna take this little round one, uh, to Emery. Emery gets it. So it is a little best of three here. Not to be confused with the entire match itself, but this singular map here is going to have a best of three to decide who wins it. So we'll see what the team goes with here with their lineup. Plan to win or expect to lose. Don't let my immortality field go to your head. It's temporary. You can still die. Good to see you. It's about to get real. And here we go. We, we have mostly the same team here. Um, this banner does make a switch. <clears throat> Ashik also making a switch here. We've seen uh, several people play Mora, um, but uh, not Ashik yet, I don't think so. We'll see how this goes for the guys. Lander on the opposing team does go with the far. We've seen a lot of big far play on both teams, so Let's see if that's a big factor. Cynical getting that early pick on Alshmitty. It's gonna hurt for this initial point take, which unlocks right now. So now the point is open, and his banner behind lines here, getting the point while they're distracted. If if our team can get some picks there, oh, he's gonna get picked off. He almost had a little sneak uh, point take there while they weren't paying attention. So you can see Tropic's doing a lot of work here. They're kind of uh, stuck in this little hallway trying to get to that point. Lander pick, uh, gets a pick on Katakuna. 
and the Emery team getting really pushed back up against spawn. Actually, giving a lot of healing and cynical back behind lines, it's very tough for the team to have to be sandwiched like that, even though it's just one person behind. One person behind while you're trying to fight a full team in front of you can be very difficult. Cynical, taking care of that uh, Torbjorn turret, uh, sometimes you can get lucky with that, like we were saying earlier, and get a s sneaky little kill off of it, but the enemy team definitely more aware of it this round so far. We're watching Tropics here. We've had a Sigma v Sigma battle at the tanks all night tonight, and it's been really, really good. Both guys very evenly matched, I think. And we have a, a uh, old cancel from Tropics there against their Farah, which we were just saying was a big deal. We've seen a lot of Farah play, but doesn't win the team fight, unfortunately. Emery down three people now, even though we had a great play by Tropics there to uh, cancel out that far ult. The Spaniard, Tropics, and Katakuna all with the ult now. We'll probably see uh, entry with those ults here very soon. So yeah, we have two ults popped off. Uh, this ult right here from Katakuna lets your damage do a boost if you're shooting through that screen. Able to get them the push at least further than they were towards the point. Uh, Ball State at 91% against us with zero, so very tough to have our team wiped out there, and it looks like they're going to be able to take that. Yep, Ashik not able to survive and stay on the point. That is a team wipe, and uh, objective secured for Ball State. So it's 1-1, and this is going to be the tiebreaker. Just like most of our matches tonight, this is going to go to the final wire. Count on me, I count on you. All systems fired up and ready to engage. Stand behind me, friends. Can't escape death. All right, so we're picking up the pieces here after that round loss. Um, it's been a back and forth. I'd say it's a 50 50 at this point. If they continue playing like they have. Both teams so close. We've got a Farah on each side. Alshmidi switching back to that Farah. Spander on Reaper. I think they both have played well in those um, those roles for each of those guys. Uh, Tropic's making a big change, though, to um, Reinhardt here. We haven't seen him play Reinhardt, I don't think, tonight. So Spander and Katakuna getting picked off early here by Call Ricky and Lander. But Tropic's able to just get on the point and cause havoc. Almost gets knocked off. You can fall off this map really easily. Does get killed, though. And we're going to have to kind of wait as a team here and regroup. They're going to get that point very early, which, again, has been pretty telling for who wins the round. So it's kind of fighting uphill for the Emery crew now. That team that gets that first point uh, early is definitely has an easier time for the rest of that match. It is 0 to 20% now, just about by the Ball State crew. Uh, Hispanic trying to pick off that cynical uh, backline push that they've been doing all night. So the key to this map is not get to boot, get not to get booped off by uh, Lucio here. He's very good on this map. It's definitely why we see him being played. Cynical and Kalrik are getting two kills, so it's 2-2 two, two in terms of picks. Emery does get a third pick though, so they've got the numbers advantage. Unfortunately, gets picked off, though, by Lander. Tropics trying to hang in there. Does have the ult. We'll see if he pops this off here. Does decide to do it, but misses, unfortunately. And Lander decides to solo ult there, which could actually be good in the long run. Only gets Tropics with it, but picks up Katakuna afterwards. It is now 58% to 0 for Emery, and this is their final shot. They cannot afford to lose this round, or the whole night goes to Ball State. Very, very close match, though. Both teams should be really happy with how they played. We do see the Alshmidi ult, which has been very good for the Emery crew. I'm sure that they're looking to save that for the point take. Lander does pick off Alshmidi, though. That's very crazy. You don't see a, a Farah to Farah kill very often. Ashik decides to res there, get Alshmidi back in the game. You can see lots of ults popping off. 
Ball State decides this is it. They're going to use all their ults here and really, really try and keep Emery's team away from the point. So there we go. We see the Oshmitty ult go off. Only gets one kill, unfortunately, but a kill nonetheless. Oshmitty picks up Crow as well, so that's two for Oshmitty here. Tropics doing a good job with the uh, Diva here, but unable to stay in the mech on the point, hanging out. The, it is now a race to get back to that point. Ashik decides it's worth it to res Tropics here. Can his banner touch point beforehand? He does. Gets the point touch last second there. And it looks like that is almost it. Overtime is now running down. And unfortunately, Emery unable to get it. Almost got a point win there. But it looks like tonight is going to go to Ball State, guys. Um, let's see the uh, play of the game here. But uh, great job by the Emery crew. Lander is going to get that play of the game as far as far. We had some crazy plays both teams tonight. So... Definitely a Fara style game. Fara and Sigma all night. Yeah, you can see Lander getting the 3k. Four right there. So just really tough, you know. A big swing like that is going to really determine it. So unfortunate loss for the Emory crew, but a great game nonetheless, guys. Have a good night. Uh, be sure to check us out next week at the same time, Thursday at 8 p.m. Have a good night.